and we're back here on UView. Uh, today, I have here Taylor Walker joining me here. He's been on the episode, he's been on many other episodes before. Um, two other episodes. Two, yeah. oh, okay, sorry, not too many, but okay. a couple. Uh, Taylor, do you mind reminding us of what your major is? Yeah, I am a senior. I'm actually graduating this quarter um, studying film, TV, and media. Film, TV, and media. Okay, yeah. so I want to know, what is it about film that is appealing to you? Um, I really like the idea of being able to like craft and tell stories. Like Story, I think, is something that's really interesting to me. Because I think that's like how people relate to each other through stories and like in any form um, and film has always been I feel like the form that like connects to me the most um, like visually and um, audibly um, yeah. yeah so I, I, I want to be the kind of person that can, I want I, what I want to get out of film is being able to craft and share stories with people that they can relate to that's awesome to. that's awesome so, so tell me have you have you created any short films or stories within your films uh, lately um, so I, this is my, this is, this is my last quarter. I haven't been doing that much like this year, but I have done like short films before, um, like as I've been here and I'm currently working on my senior project, trying to get that finished up. But yeah, yeah. A couple of projects and I hope to do some more after I graduate too. Sure. What does your senior project entail? Um, so my senior project, I'm working with my twin brother and I, we had a writer too, who's already graduated. Um, Making a like just a really short um, like kind of superhero film. Ooh. Um, and yeah, it's been it's been a little bit of a train wreck, but <laughs> you know that's the nature of film. Sometimes. Tell me, tell me, what has been a train wreck about uh, creating a superhero film? Um, so we started it last fall. We were trying to we were hoping to get it done by spring, uh -huh. um, and we just we everything started with our inability to find like actors. We had some really specific casting requirements. Um, that made it hard to cast people here at the university Sure. because um, we needed specifically people that were older. Um, we had some other like uh, sp specifics that we needed and just the people that came to auditions for like our festival shorts and everything, just none of that worked out. Sure. Um, so we had to kind of go broader and reach out to people. We ended up casting a guy who actually lives in Tri-Cities who would drive out here to film with us. Um, so yeah, that delayed our project a lot. And then after that, we just had issues with um, some of the roles that we were doing, like me and my brother and our other crew member, um, were not as well defined as they should have been. So we had some conflict with um, who was doing what and some things slipped through the cracks. Um, and then we just had issues like we had a shoot that we'd planned. We worked really hard to plan it. And then we get there as outdoors and it rains. And then oh, like, or, or we had issues because our project was delayed. The days were getting um, shorter and we needed to film that during the day. So mm -hmm. then we had issues with that. And then... As the as spring came, then we needed days to be longer, or sorry, not longer. We needed days to be shorter, and the days started getting longer. And so we just had issues with like finding those specific requirements too. And then some of our locations didn't work out, and all sorts of issues. But yeah, we're we're in the editing stage now. We have a couple, like have at least one crucial scene we still have to film. Um, our actor had to uh, drop out because he moved. So we've been trying oh, to figure out how to finish this last scene without our main actor. So that's been the biggest. That's, that's the biggest challenge we're at right now. Sure. No, that that's crazy. So there are many struggles that uh, involve that, or challenges that come up with film. Yeah. Then. Yeah, and I'd say like these challenges that we're having, like it's like everything that can go wrong is going wrong. But that's how it is sometimes. Like that's not even that unusual. That's just like the nature of filmmaking. And we're lucky that it's a small scale, and we're not like we don't have like millions of dollars at stake or something. Yeah. Yeah. No. For you sure. know. So at least that's like something that can help us kind of prepare for, I think, the real world and like overcoming these obstacles when the stakes aren't super high. Um, because definitely when the stakes are high, things are gonna be a lot more critical. Absolutely, know? absolutely. So. so tell me, what was your part specifically um, in creating this project? Um, so I was the director um, and now I'm doing a lot of the editing as well. Um, yeah, I, so my job was to plan like the storyboards. I didn't write the script, so I had to t take the script and translate that into like visual and like write hmm. storyboards and figure out how we were gonna film everything. I did do some slight tweaks of the script just because we found parts that were not like consistent or we had some continuity issues. Sure. Oh man. Um, and then working with actors, making sure I was getting the best performance out of my actors and communicating with them. And then as editor, I'm just compiling, like I'm putting the whole thing together and doing like the basic stuff like with audio and that kind of thing and then other people will be doing like special effects and that kind of stuff. So. Okay, so you mentioned storyboarding, directing, editing. Yeah. Uh, storyboarding, is that part of like directing itself or is that something different? Um, you know, it's, part, it's usually part of the process of like translating a script into like 
how it's actually going to be filmed. Usually directors will storyboard and do overheads. Um, and I did do some overheads for this, but sometimes it was just we had a shot that was really quick and the overhead wasn't as practical or it was just, yeah. All the, the sort of thing with storyboards and overheads are meant to not just communicate to the director what he wants, but also sure. those are shared with the rest of the crew. So like the camera, the cinematographer knows like, okay, this is the angle that we want to get this shot at and this is how the action's supposed to move and also helps with like figuring out blocking and that kind of stuff too. So yeah, I don't know if every project does storyboarding, but I found it helpful for, you know, Sure. So it's super. Homies. It's super necessary to storyboard, and it's. I mean, I'd say yeah. Like I'm. Like I don't know how it is in the in the real world, but I know like in my short film, storyboarding is a helpful process. Okay. So. Tell me your directing process. You said it was communicating with the actors. Yeah. But is there any more that goes on with directing that comes up that's challenging? And I mean, yeah. You plan the you plan the shots, but you also have to work with your cinematographer because they have ideas too, and they're also trying to make sure that your film looks the best. So. That's where we had some conflict because um, on my end, I wasn't communicating as clearly as I needed to with my cinematographer, and then we had some conflicts over, like, this shot will take too much time or this shot looks better. So, yeah, there's challenges there. Um, yeah, uh, other things that come along with directing, um, challenges with, like, just holding your actors accountable and yeah. making sure that they are... Not, like, making sure that they are performing well. Like, making sure that they're being genuine... Um, it's like uh, you have to be on, not like, even a good actor, if a director is not necessarily um, communicating clearly, the actor might not know what they're doing. Sure. And Or I mean, like, not that they don't know what they're doing, but they might not know specifically how this moment is supposed to play out. And then that can fall through the cracks and not work out as well. Oh, so, man. Right. Okay. Yeah. So that's directing. Mm -hmm. Let's move into editing. Yeah. What's the struggle with that? What's the challenge with that? Um, challenges with that are, it's different. It's a lot different. Challenges with editing are you, you know, like there's always stuff that doesn't work out properly, like scenes that aren't filmed um, properly. I'm finding that with some of the editing that sure. we are doing right now. We have some. That's why a director should always watch their footage after they filmed it, so they can go back and refilm it. Amen. Soon. Yeah. But yeah, lots of that kind of stuff. Well, Taylor, I'm gonna. I would love to learn more about film and editing, um, but we're out of time. So I want to thank you for being here on yeah. UView, and I want to thank you guys for coming and joining here on this segment of UView. We will be right back. Uh, so come back, and we're back. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna be playing the last game of this episode today. We are going to be filling in the blank, and we're gonna be reading a prompt. I'm gonna go first, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So here we go. All right, if I were to invest in a company, I would invest in blank. So, what am I thinking, guys? Hmm, what would you invest in? What would Charlie invest in? What would I invest in? That's a good question. Company, hmm. Hmm. Almost ready? Uh, Except for that's not really a company. Hold up. Okay, I, my answer's not good, but or, it's something. Hold up, hold up. I feel like this is a bad investment right now, but I'm gonna do it anyways. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. So I said, um, you said food. <laughs> <laughs> isn't yeah. it, isn't it, I guess Whole Food isn't that owned by Amazon? Whole Food is a good yeah. one. I don't know. That's a good one. Microsoft stock? I have in, not invested in Microsoft stock, but that is a good one. So I actually said gold or Boeing. I don't know. Gold, gold isn't really a company in a sense, but it's, it can be. It can be. Okay, I like that. And then Boeing, I feel like right now it's not the best investment, but we'll mine, is, see. mine is very abstract. Yeah. yeah. But hey, I like it. It's vague. It's, it's very vague. Lot, covers a lot of ground. All right, all right. So it's my turn? It is your turn. Okay. The box is ready for you, it's all open. All right. If I could have any superpower, it would be. Hmm. What would my superpower be? You guys ready? Oh, man. Yeah. There we go. My marker is malfunctioning. There we go. All right, so you ready? Yeah. All right, three, two, one. 
I said super speed. I said the, the force. The force. It's based on oh. superpower. I <laughs> did a read little. Mind. To read. That's basically it's it. Plus. Telekinesis. It's very. Right? Uh, it's very. It's all encompassing. Yeah, and I drew. I tried to do a little Yoda squiggle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like all right, Professor Taves. We have here about a minute and 15 seconds, so we'll do this quick. While I was editing my film, I suddenly got really scared because... Ooh. Are you guys ready? I'm feeling good about this one. Ready? Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. The electric electricity went off. Electricity went off. <laughs> I said I didn't back up my footage. I, I, I disappointed Jerry. Oh, that mm -hmm. is not good. No, and I said it was a scary film. Oh, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have time, uh, I think, for one more quick one. I'm going to do this real quick. Here we go. Want to reread it? Maybe quick. 15 this. seconds. When I saw a blank, I thought blank and then blank and then I blank. Oh. All right, you guys ready? I think I need to. Three. When I saw a blank, I thought blank and then I blank. Three, two, one. You feeling it? Hang on. Sorry, I'm yeah. watching you guys. All right, ready? Three, two, one. All right, when I saw, a I saw a frog, I thought, wow, and I passed out. Oh, I just said. Oh. I said, when I saw a cat, I thought, wow, neat cat. I didn't and then I woke up. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. I didn't understand it. No, 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 I. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw no, I thought no, and then. No. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you for joining us here on UV Variety. I hope to see you guys again soon. Take care.